Tonight, a family is in mourning, and they're talking about their loss. Patrick Ward was an independent man. He was able to take care of himself and overcame the obstacle of becoming blind. He walked in on someone who was breaking into his home, and police arrested a teen they say was responsible. That's giving the family relief, but not closure. ABC 2 News' Cheryl Connor spent the evening with the family and many, many of their friends tonight. Cheryl? And Rosie, people are just now leaving this vigil to honor Patrick Ward. Friends, family, and people who barely even knew this man came out to honor his life. Lanterns are released into the night air, drawing attention to the life of 29 year old Patrick Ward. Tonight is about his entire life, not his final hour. Seeing this is just, it, it's amazing. I mean, he, he has touched so many people just by being him. One week after Patrick died, the baseball field near his Bel Air apartment is lit up with friends and family sharing their memories. Ward did not live the average life. He was born with medical problems, which caused him to go blind five years ago. He may have been blind, but he was not disabled. He was a man, and he stood on his own feet. And, and lived his life. Ward managed to live alone, and it was in his apartment where the Harford County Sheriff's Office says he was stabbed to death one week ago tonight. His neighbor, 17 year old Donnell Graham, is charged as an adult with first and second degree murder. Ward was always the optimist, and now even the youngest members of his family hope his inspiration reaches beyond the grave. I miss my Uncle Pat. <laughs> But now he's in heaven with God, so he, so he can see. Certainly some touching words from a brave young man. Now, next Saturday, Patrick Ward's younger sister will get married. She was thinking about postponing the wedding, but has decided to go forward with it. This week, Patrick's family buried him in the same suit and same shoes he bought for that wedding. We're live in Bel Air. Cheryl Connor, ABC2 News.